Good morning. In today's lesson, lesson 4.2, starting on page 143, our lesson is multiplying with 5 and 10. And the central question is basically how can you multiply with 5 and 10? So <clears throat> let's look at the unlock the problem. Marcel is making six toy banjos. He needs five strings for each banjo. How many strings does he need in all? Okay, so let's look at the little blue box that helps us break down a problem. How many banjos is Marcel making? He's making six toy banjos. So that's like saying six groups. And how many strings does each banjo have? Each banjo has five strings. So one way we can do this, multiply by five, is to just skip count by fives. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we skip counted fives until we said six numbers. So six times five is 30. So he needs 30 strings and all. So that's one way, skip counting by fives. We can also use a number line. And so in this example, it says each string is 10 inches long. How many inches of string will Marcel use for each banjo? <clears throat> so For each banjo, he has five strings from our previous problem. So five strings in every banjo. So we're going to have five jumps of ten. So again, we've drawn five jumps for the five strings and 10 spaces at a time for the length of each string. So we landed on 10, 20, 30, 40, and finally 50. So we say that the numbers 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 are multiples of 10. So he will use 50 inches of string for each banjo. And the definition for a multiple, a multiple of 10 is any product, the result of a multiplication problem, that has 10 as one of its factors. And what do we notice about the multiples of 10? 20, 30, 40, 50, One thing I notice is that they all end in zero. Okay, page 144. Um, another ex way we can do it, so we've talked about skip counting, using a number line. We can also use a bar model that we're familiar with. Marcel bought three packages of string. Each package cost 10 cents. How much did the packages cost in all? <clears throat> so in our bar model, we would have three boxes because he bought three packages. There would be 10 cents in each one because each package costs 10 cents. And so it says think of one unit as 10 cents. Three units would be three times 10 and three times 10 would be 30, 10, 20, 30. Well, they cost 30 cents in all. <clears throat> all right, so now let's practice these three methods. How can you use this number line to find 8 times 5? Well, I would think of each jump as Each jump will be five.
and I'll have eight jumps of five. Five, 10, 15, 20, one, two, three, four jumps, five jumps, six jumps, seven jumps, eight jumps. And so I landed on 40 on the eighth jump. <clears throat> All right, so two times five. Two times five, I have two fives. That's 10. Six tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Five fives, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Seven times ten. Now, of course, I could count ten seven times, but there is a a pattern when we multiply by tens. We know that when I multiply by tens, or ten is a factor of the multiplication problem, that the problem has to end in zero. And so we can just go seven times one. So seven tens is seven. So four tens would be 40. Six five, uh, five times six, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <clears throat> we know that by the zero property multiplication that any number times zero is zero. Three fives is 15. Seven times five. Well, if 6 times 5 was 30, we have one more 5. So 30 plus 5 is 35. 5 times 10, we know it's going to end in 0. So 50. 4 times 5. If 5 times 5 is 25, this is one last 5. So 25 take away 5, 20. And 9 times 10 is 90. All right, 145, <clears throat> number 14, identity property of multiplication says any number times 1 is the other number, so 5 times 1, 10 times 2 is going to be 20, 4 times 5, 20, 10 times 10, well again, we know that it's going to end in a 0, and 10 times 1 is 10. So 10 tens is 100. Zero property multiplication, this is that zero. 10 times 5, 50. Identity property multiplication, says that that's 5. 9 times 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 3 times 4, well, what's that got to do with multiplying by 5 and 10? So this is more of a review. Remember that 3 times 4 is the same as saying 3 times 2 doubled. 5 times nothing is 0. 4 times 8, again, that's the same as saying 2 times 8 doubled. Ten times five, fifty. Ten times nine, ninety. Ten times one, ten. Ten times eight, eighty. Nine times two, eighteen. That's just nine plus nine. Four times ten, forty. Nine times five. 45, 
5 times 0, 0, and 7 times 5, 35. And use the pictures to find the unknown numbers. So I see a 3 as a factor, and that's because we have 3 circles or 3 groups. Now in each group I see that I have 5. 5, 10, 15. Okay, in this one, I need to find out how many groups I have. Yeah, I see that there's 3 in each group. So how many groups are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 5 and 5 is 10. And we know that 10 times 2 is 30. Okay, you complete the bar model to solve. Marcel played five songs on the banjo. Each song lasted eight minutes. So we see in the bar model, one, two, three, four, five boxes. And we're going to put eight in each box. So he has five times eight. So eight times five, five eights would be... <clears throat> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. There are six banjo players. If each player needs 10 sheets of music, how many sheets of music are needed? So again, in our bar model, I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the six boxes represent the banjo players. The 10 sheets of music that they would each have. So six players times ten sheets of paper. They would each need. They would need a total of sixty sheets of music. Okay, one forty-six, number thirty-eight. And for use the table for thirty-eight through forty. So let's look at our table. Our title is stringed instruments. We have four instruments, a guitar, a banjo, a mandolin, and a violin, and the number of strings on those instruments. The guitar has six strings, banjo has five strings, mandolin has eight strings, and the violin has four strings. Okay, so John and his dad own seven banjos. <clears throat> they want to replace the strings on all of them. How many strings should they buy? Write a multiplication sentence to solve. So they're going to buy seven banjos, or they have seven banjos, sorry, and they're going to replace the strings on all of them. So each banjo has five strings. So seven sets of five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. So they're going to need thirty-five strings. Mr. Lemke has five guitars, four banjos, and two mandolins. What is the total number of strings on Mr. Lemke's instruments? So this is multiple steps. So five guitars. Every guitar has six strings. He has four banjos. Every banjo has five strings. And he has two mandolins. And every mandolin has eight strings. So these three problems represent the three different types of instruments he has. So five times six, 30. Four times five is 20. And two times eight is 16. And then we would <clears throat> add them all together. 30 and 20 is 50. 50 plus 16, 66. So you need 66 strings. Or he has 66 strings on all of his instruments. The orchestra has five violins and three guitars that need new strings. What is the total number of strings that need to be replaced? Okay, so again, multiple steps. We have 
five violins, and every violin has four strings, plus the three guitars that have six strings each. So four times five, five, 10, 15, 20, plus three times six, six threes is 18, or six, three sixes is 18. So add those together, we would have 38 strings need to be replaced. Forty-one. Mr. James has three banjos. Mr. Lewis has five times the number of banjos. Mr. James has. Riley says Mr. Lewis has twelve banjos. Describe her air. Hmm. Mr. James has three banjos. Mr. Lewis has five times that amount. Three times five is fifteen. So she probably, multiply 3 times 4 to get 12 instead of 3 times 5. All right, circle the number that makes the multiplication sentence true. Five times what is 45? Well, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So how many numbers did I use to get to 45? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 5 times 9, 45. <clears throat> All right, so now you'll complete your online practice by yourself. Use your textbook to help you. And also use the video as needed. If you need additional help, you can stop and ask me. Um, but until then, tomorrow we will work, work on multiplying with 3 and 6.